you can see most of them they gather up in like these folds over here i don't know if you can see it easier over here but there's a good amount here already it hasn't even been a day yet and there's a good amount now it's just um, like you can see here, there's a spied lanternfly climbing up here, and so they'll eventually get to the other side where the hole is because they'll just keep walking around the side and try and find the opening. Um, they're just that desperate to get up. Their instinct is so strong. Um, but yeah, basically, um, there's yeah, there's a lot of spied lanternflies. But basically. <laughs> Um, we have like this insulation tubing which we tie around and that's connected to this bat this netting on um, like garden netting and we made it into like a bag so it just has one hole here where the tunnel is um but the tunnel is basically just made by um a piece of water bottle plastic and then you can see like the black duct tape runway so you can see the spy lane flies trying to find the opening um but <laughs> then yeah, so what's nice is that we find, like, we'll get a few, like, maybe, like, a grasshopper or a spider will go in here. Um, and in my experiment, I would find that, like, there would be maybe, like, three spiders in there at one time. And then the next day when I go and count, some of the spiders found their way out, but the spot land flies never found their way out because they're just so de desperate to go up that they just don't want to go down. Um, and so we've never had them find their way out. Huh. That's really interesting. So then this here is the hole. So then we just like rubber band it shut. And so then when they die, we just empty them out here. But and so they die that quickly, huh? They, they yeah, don't make they it. They die pretty quickly. We're not exactly sure why they die. Um, I have two guesses. I think it's either because when they're in here, like you can see, they have no ability to get to the tree. Like here, this one right here, it can't eat from the tree. It's totally closed off. Um, and then another reason might be that when um, they're in the tree, they usually huddle when it's cold out together on the branches. And so we're thinking that it might be because they're cold. And so when they're in here, they can't exactly huddle as much. As you can see here, they're pretty separated. Um, so there might be two reasons. There might be, that's probably why they're dying so quickly. Um, but it's really nice because we don't have to do anything to kill them. Just wait until they're dead, and then they fall down here, and then just empty them out. Right, so no chemicals or no, no nothing bad for anything else? Yeah.